All right, we are in the spray booth right now, um, getting ready to stain our, our table. This step is totally optional. Um, if you are happy with the, the natural color of your, your table, you don't need to stain it. But I figured we'd show you how to go ahead and do this. So to start with, anytime we're going to do any finishing, we're going to do that in the spray room or the spray booth here. Um, it is recommended for staining that you have gloves. I'm going to tell you to get two staining rags. These are just pieces of a t-shirt. Um, you're going to need a stir stick, a can opener, and your stain of choice. For this, we have chosen driftwood. So, step one is to open your can of stain. So I'm going to take the can opener and open up my can of stain. Be careful not to get this all over because it is indeed stained and I don't feel like staining anything other than material today. You're going to take your stir stick. Now, this is a water-based finish, okay? So that raising the grain is really important, okay, from sanding. Now, pigment is leached out. You can see the booger on the end of there. That is the pigment that gives this stain color. So it's important that I stir this thoroughly to make sure that pigment is redissolved into solution. Okay, do not shake the can. Okay, gently stir it, and we want to do so until all of that pigment has come off of the bottom of our stick here. Okay, and that looks pretty good. So I'm going to take one of my rags, wipe the stir stick off, and get it out of the way. Now, when we stain, okay, we again want to be organized here. We don't want to just schmooey stain all over everything and lose track of where we're at. So for this particular example, I'm just going to do this one board here to show you how, how the whole process works. But I would probably want to tackle this in small sections on my table, like do my tabletop, then go off and do my table legs and spindles and rails and do it systematically so they don't miss anything. So to stain, much like sanding, we want to stain with the grain of our board. So I'm going to take a rag, I'm going to soak it in the stain here, and I'm going to gently, with the grain, wipe the stain all over workpiece. Now I want to saturate this. I want to put enough stain on that the grain of the wood soaks it all up. And I'm going to soak this in here and I'm going to let it sit for a minute or two or a few seconds to fully saturate and soak its way into the pores of the wood. After a minute or so, you're going to take your other rag, your clean rag, and you are going to wipe in long fluid strokes the surface of your board off, taking any excess stain, and you can see on the rag now, I pulled any extra stain off of the surface of the wood. So the only stain that remains is stain that has been absorbed into the wood itself. So I would repeat this process um, all over the entire table. I might come back um, after a few hours and test the spot and see if I can get any more stain in um, to the project. I might test it in a spot that's kind of hidden on the table uh, by putting a little more on and see if it soaks in. But again, sand thoroughly, right? Apply a liberal amount of stain, give it a second or two to absorb in or a minute, and then come back in with a clean rag to wipe off the excess to go ahead and apply your stain.